We're finally there. We can now finally get the potential. You can see we've been thinking about differences in energy, so potential is the same way. It's not, you know, to get these differences in energy, we had to know the magnitude of the test charge. And all potential is is just saying, let's do it per unit magnitude of the test charge. So the potential, when you go from A to B, is simply defined as the change in energy when you go from A to B divided by that test charge. Okay. And then, if you want to write the integral, then it's minus the integral from A to B. And the Q is just gone, minus the integral from A to B of E dot dS. This is why, if you're reading a book and the first thing you see is they define the potential this way and you wonder why that negative is there, go through those previous videos. That will walk you through exactly why the negative is there. It's because where this comes from, this E dot dS, comes from the work you're having to do. Either that you're ha you're an external agent is doing or that the field is doing to move things around. That's where the E dot dS comes from, if you think about the potential this way. Also, one more thing we could tack on there is that it's VB minus VA. Here, we have defined potential as a difference. 